Good morning, YNG, and thanks for tuning in to another morning of Y Update with me, Lauren Gumport. I know that you're ready for February 16th, which will obviously be a fun filled day of SAC activities. But first, before we talk about anything YNG related, we're going to focus on what makes a presidential candidate great. Here's Quinn with more on the story. What qualities do you find most important in a president? Um, honesty, kind of like a, a sense of humor, makes good decisions, but you know, it's okay if they didn't make good decisions in the past, just like for the present. Appeal to the people and be charismatic and just be really intelligent and that's about all I could say for now. I would think that a president would have to be able to inspire. They would have to be able to encourage participation in government because after all, if you're not participating, then you're not really adding anything to it. So definitely inspiration. Someone that can be able to relate to all like everyone's issues. Um, I think they need a new outlook because our old presidents are kind of the same. Thanks, Quinn. And just a reminder for all of you who've already forgotten about the 2008 presidential candidates' platforms, here's a little update. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton mostly have the same beliefs on abortion, gun control, and many other issues. But both of them are pro-choice, they are for banning ownership of illegal arms, or of arms at all, and they are for same-sex marriages. Although Obama has completely disagreed with the war in Iraq from the start, Hillary at first supported it, but now completely disagrees with the fight against terrorism. As for the Republican candidates, they are pro-life, against same-sex marriages, and they do not believe in banning the ownership of firearms. Although the Democrat and Republican candidates do disagree on mostly every issue, they have found common ground when it comes to tightening the borders and making it safe to cross them. Now for more YNG-related news. Here's Marissa on the controversial genitalia resembling logo at a common restaurant that all of us have eaten at. Looking for an arousing dining experience? Consider Upper Crust Pizza, where you can find ridiculously delicious pizza, pasta, and salad. Just remember, when your stomach is lonely, find yourself below this Freudian sign. Well, last night I know that sack boogiers got low at the dance. I was dancing so much that I even lost my badge. Let's go to Devin with more. Hi, Devin here, and we're going to report on the Governor's Ball tonight. Let's go check it out. Delegates ended their long day with a crazy and fun-filled Governor's Ball. The flashing lights and music reminiscent of Bob 1 and 2 got all of YNG crumping and bumping. The delegates were so into the trance of the dance last night that many lost their badge in the midst of moving delegates. I'm with three girls in Triumpho delegation. Girls. Mozart, that's what's up. I think I'm gonna go with the sounds of the birds. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now, give us a sample of how you guys dance. Go for it. Well, you heard it here. Pretty crazy party at the Governor's Ball. Back to you guys. Sounds fun, Devin. Looks like everyone had a blast. Here at Broadcast Media, we like to inform you about the proposals that many delegates are seeking to turn into bills. Number 601 wants conning machines in every school locker room. And one proposal even wanted to tax cigarette companies and use the money to go towards spending college scholarships. Here's more on the story with Rose. Deep within the Senate and the Assembly Chambers, there are discussions about proposals going on. Some more controversial than others. So with me today, I have Omar from Westchester to answer some questions. Okay, Omar, have you heard of any controversial proposals so far? Well, there's this one uh, proposal. I wouldn't say it's controversial, but it's a little bit out of the, out of the ordinary. Um, it's about putting leashes on cats um, because I guess with global warming, um, the cats are reproducing at a much higher rate um, because cats like to reproduce in warm weather. So um, if your cat's not neutered or spayed, uh, I guess it would be required to be on a leash. So something interesting. Also with me today, I have an advisor, Connie, from SGV Glendora, answering some questions. Connie, what do you think about the vending machines 
um, condom vending machines in the high school locker rooms? Um, I think it's a really good idea. I think it gives people access to it um, where maybe if they feel embarrassed or ashamed to go into the drugstore or to talk to their parents about it, then, you know, they'd be able to walk into the locker rooms at high school and just, you know, take care of themselves and be safe. So I think it's a good idea. I don't think that's really necessary because that will just promote, like, sexual intercourse, like, at a school, and that's really controversial. I don't think that's necessary, and it's kind of inappropriate because students, if they want to have sex, they should get their own um, contraceptives outside of school, and school shouldn't really support that. I'm here with State Superintendent Logan from Culver Palms. What do you think about lowering college tuition and getting funding from the California lottery? It would be a tremendous help to so many kids in California, but with the deficit now, I, I see it very, very hard to, to pass as well as to, to be uh, executed. So we'll see, but I would definitely be in, uh, in favor of a bill like that because college tuition is just outrageous, even for a public school. So. Wow, these people have amazing opinions, but we'll never know what will happen. These people, they're going to stand straight up and state their opinions. So, only time can tell, and I'm Rose, reporting for YNG News. Back to you, Lauren. Wow, Rose, I had no idea about some of those proposals. They're so great. But in other news, we interviewed some of your fellow SAC delegates on what they should wear and what they definitely should not wear to the governor's banquet on Sunday night. Here's Laura with more. Hi, I'm Laura Miller, and we're here with three delegates to talk about what to wear and what not to wear to the governor's banquet. Okay, so we're here with Olivia Miller, um, and we're going to talk about what's wrong. So, Olivia, you're wearing sneakers. That's definitely not good for governor's banquet. And then you're not wearing your badge. And I think you can look a little bit nicer if you want to go to the governor's banquet. That's kind of grungy. I think we want to be, be a little more high class for the banquet. So we're here with Alexa, and she um, is definitely not wearing the right stuff. You've got slippers on, your stockings are completely ripped, the shirt, skirt is definitely too short, and that shirt, honey, cover yourself up. So we're here with Amy, um, and wow, is it raining outside? Because I didn't see any rain falling from the sky. Is there a reason for the umbrella or it's a fashion umbrella I saw it in Vogue <laughs> right well this isn't Mary Poppins honey here with Bonnie and Rachel and girls what are you wearing to the governor's banquet um, I'm wearing a red dress from Macy's and um, it has a black like stripey thing in the side and it's shiny so it's good <laughs> do you have comfortable shoes to wear with there they, do they look good yeah, I got my shoes from Payless, so I'm Ooh, good deal, it. good deal. Are you gonna how are you gonna wear your makeup? Um eyeliner. That's good. Awesome, simple is good. How about you, Rachel? Um I'm gonna be wearing like a little strapless blue dress with leggings and it has like a little black bow. So I think I got it from Forever Twenty One. Awesome, and are you wearing just normal shoes or I finally get to wear flats again. So. Yay! And are you just gonna have normal makeup or what? Yeah, I just wear regular makeup. All right, we're here with Jake. And Jake, what will you be wearing to the governor's ball? Probably be wearing a black tie and a blue shirt with probably this blazer and some black pants. Probably brush my hair up a little and uh, take a shower. I don't know. So we're here with Sashin and Oscar. And boys, what are you wearing to the governor's banquet? I'm wearing a little, as little as possible. As much as possible. I don't like to show anything. I'm very comfortable with my body. Do you know what colors you're wearing? Any ideas? Uh, well, I'm probably going to go with a kind of navy blue. Maybe throw on a little bit of the suspenders there, you know, for the ladies. Whatever I find in the top on the floor. So we're here with Matt from El Dorado, and he's an advisor. So Matt, what do you think is appropriate for guys and girls to wear to the governor's banquet? I think for the governor's banquet, it's prom, right? So I want to see lots of guys in tuxedos, all dressed up, the best suit you have. For the ladies, I want to see those prom dresses, dress up, um, so everybody looks, knows it looks spectacular. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in to Y Update, everyone. I'm Lauren Gumport, and I'll be here again at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. See you there.